University of Georgia takes care of business in the uh, cocktail party, 34 to seven over Florida in a game in which it was very sluggish for both sides. Um, Georgia did not play well at all. We'll talk about that coming up. But how the game started? Well, Georgia went on a decent drive uh, to start the game. Eight plays, about 40-something yards. And then Stetson Bennett on a third down and one, I believe, uh, threw a, uh, he was getting pressured through a pass out of bounds um, that turned out to be an intentional grounding. And that cost Georgia three points, or, and even it could have cost Georgia really seven when you think about it because it was only a fourth and one at the Florida seven, or 20. And Georgia goes out, kicks a field goal, misses it. Uh, uh, Jackpot misses it wide right. And then both teams went on a punch strand. Florida goes on a decent drive to start the second quarter, misses a field goal too. Then Georgia goes back on a decent drive for and took, takes about, what, six minutes on 11 plays, 63 yards, gets a field goal out of it. And then a bunch of craziness happens. Uh, in the next drive, Stetson Bennett throws a terrible pass that was intercepted by, was it Helms? Uh, the Florida safety, I think it was Helms. Um, and then literally two plays later, Anthony Richardson, as he was coming out of the end zone, fumbles the ball. It was actually just ripped out of his hands by Nolan Smith. Nolan Smith uh, jumped on the ball. Georgia got the ball at the 11-yard line. And it was 3 nothing with about three minutes left in the second quarter. Georgia gets the ball at the Florida 11. James Cook runs it up the middle for an 11-yard touchdown. Next, uh, two plays later, Anthony Richardson throws a ball that I believe was deflected. Uh, was it Trayvon Walker? Got his hand, uh, got his hand on the ball. It, it got deflected and intercepted by Nolan Smith. Georgia then throws a deep ball, sets and Bennett through actually a nice pass. I think it was to Karius Jackson on the back shoulder of uh, close to the the uh, the pie line. Um, to Karius Jackson to make the game seventeen nothing. And then as a Georgia fan. Florida was starting to uh, starting to move the ball. They got past the 50. I was like, well, looks like we will go up at half 17-3. No, Anthony Richardson makes a terrible read, throws a lollipop pass to uh, Malik Davis, and Nicobe Dean jumps right in front of that pass, picks it off, scores, and it is 24-0 at the half. It was literally 3-0 Georgia with three minutes left in the second quarter. Flip all. Uh, Georgia went ahead and flipped that and took a 24-0 lead into half, and the game was pretty much over since then. It was just a ter – I'm going to be real. It was a terrible game offensively for Georgia. Um, we'll talk about uh, we'll talk about that in, here in a second, but they start the second half after a good defensive stop with a fumble. Then after another good defensive stop, a missed field goal for, by Florida, they get a field goal, and then that's pretty much it until uh, Florida ends up scoring a touchdown. Uh, then after the onside kick, uh, Zamir White took it, what, 40, 40 yards, and Georgia ended up winning 34-7. to seven. Looking at the stats, believe it or not, Florida had about two more first downs. It was 20-18 to 18 compared to the first downs. Uh, third down conversions, Florida was just 4 of 13. That's a, that's a plus side. Georgia was 4 of 9, not great. Florida actually had one more yard of total offense than Georgia, but they also had, I think, what is it? Florida had about 20, 25 more offensive plays than Georgia. They led a, uh, Florida led in time of possession, penalties. Florida led in penalties. Florida was actually able to rush for 4.1 yard, 4 yards per uh, per carry, which is a plus side if you're a Florida fan on one of the, if not the best, rush defenses in the country. Wisconsin uh, statistically is number one. Georgia was number two before uh, before this week. And uh, Damian Pierce rushed nine times for 69 yards. That was a good uh, – that was Florida's best rusher. Averaged 7.7 .7 yards per carry. Um, but, yeah, other than that, defensively, uh, Georgia was very, very, very good. Uh, offensively, it was kind of disappointing. But – Held Florida to seven points. Would have loved to hold Florida to zero. Break that insane streak um, for shutouts by Florida. Um, they, I think it was what 1988, the last time Florida got shut out, and it was to what Auburn or something like that. And Georgia was just 
Wasn't able to finish that out, but still a 34-7 to win over uh, your biggest rival. You'll take that all the time.